we'll try our best. Can't be asked. <laughs> I'm changing my mind if this is an emergency situation. I've never been so excited in my entire life. Hello, internet humans. You join me again at the plot in my greenhouse on a beautiful sunny day. Sunny June day. See, this is what June's meant to look like. This, this is... Thank you, universe, for listening. It's June now. Thank you. Um, I'm back. <laughs> If you don't know me, I'm Emma. This is my allotment plot. This is my greenhouse, and behind me is the allotment plot. Um, it's my first growing seat. I'm very hot. It is 40 degrees in here. I'm hot. Um, <laughs> this is our first growing season um, from scratch. Um, we got the plot in about July, August last year. So. We did all try to do a little bit of winter growing, but it didn't go very well. So this is the first time it's actually properly starting from the beginning. <sighs> I'm in the greenhouse because I wanted to plant some things, but we'll come back to that because I need to cool down. So I will show you around some of the other interesting things that are happening at the plot. And then we'll come back to the greenhouse once the doors, you know, once air's circulated because the door's been open. <laughs> first of all, you'll all be pleased to know that my dahlias have survived. Woohoo! Explosions! Woohoo! And they're doing okay. I think. I think they're doing okay. Could be wrong. Um, they seem to be growing. They seem to be green. I think that's okay. Everything else is okay, she says hesitantly. Yes, everything else is fine. The brassica bed. Well, this is the purple brassica bed. Um, it's doing great. Courgettes. Oh, yes. Let me show you. Let me show you. We appear to have. A small courgette. <laughs> I can see slug slime on it, but they haven't eaten it yet, so that's positive. And most of my sweet corn are still standing. Fantastic. I think we just had two. One that was on its way out anyway, and one that I think has been slugged because I can't see any evidence of it. And I think maybe these are putting on these around courgette variety, so maybe they're putting out little courgettes. Um, yeah, they're looking great. Sweet peas are starting to flower. And those sweet pea flowers. I have no idea what colours these are, by the way. I just whacked a seed in and grew it, so no idea. The ones on this side. Now, the only difference between this side and that side, because they both get sun from the same direction, obviously, the only difference is these are with garlic, and that bed was no digged, and this bed wasn't. Now, I don't want to point fingers, but look at the growth on that and the not-so-growth on that. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, no dig. Garlic's got rust. We're, we're ignoring that. Um, oh, yes. Oh, I had to show you this. I've not been for a few days, actually. But my monge too. Be monge too in. Look at that. Look at them. Look at them bad boys. I'm going to take them home. I have no idea what we're having for tea, but we're having monge too with it now. <laughs> I think we're meant to be having pasta, so we're going to have monge too pasta. So, yeah, and the flowers are so pretty. I knew pea flowers were pretty anyway because of sweet peas. But yeah, that's so fun. So I'm going to pick those. Again, I'm going to take some more lettuce home for the bun, some more kale for the bun. And we've got loads of strawberries as well. So everything's doing great. And also, most of my gypsophilia survived. Some flowers are coming on. Some have been slugged slash pigeoned. But I'm just going to just, you know, the ones that are growing are growing and the ones that have been slugged and pigeoned aren't. And that's just the way of life. This is the best thing ever. My purple sprouting broccoli and my Brussels sprouts are getting, I don't know, they're going crazy. I'm so happy, but also they're outgrowing this. <laughs> so I'm going to have to uh, get Sam to build me some sort of big cage structure because <laughs> it's all getting a little bit too much for me. I've never grown anything that big before, so I didn't know, I didn't really expect it. And my cosmos. It's flowering. This is the Cosmos planter and it's doing great. It's really bushy, got loads of buds on. Well, that's not got any buds on actually, but most of them have got loads of buds on. <laughs> and they're flowering. How beautiful is that? Um, and I just keep deadheading them as and when to try and promote more flowers. And there's a ladybird. Oh, there's another ladybird. Oh, so cute. And then this is a gypsophilia that I just put in a pot in case they died. And also, they're carrots. They're not ready. 
but they're getting there. Look at that. I'm so tempted to pull one up, but I know they're not ready. They do, they are too close together. I know this. You don't have to tell me. I already know. But I just went a bit sprinkle happy with the seeds. These on this side will come onto this. But yeah, these have been either pigeoned or slugged because they were coming up in lovely rows, but they're uh, not there anymore. <laughs> so we'll do something about that in a bit. And obviously the herb planter. The herbing, although that dill's trying to flower. Not today, sir, not today. Um, yeah, lovely. I can take some of that for pasta. <laughs> I'm a very happy bean at the pot today, I must say. Very happy. Let me just go in the shed for a, for a cool down. Oh, have you been fuzzy that whole time? I do apologise. It's hot. You condensate it. It's hot. Oh, it's nice and cool in the shed, though. I'm hot. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed that little tour, look at the state of me. Do subscribe. There's more where that came from because we just keep growing more and more and everything's getting bigger and better and we're just getting bigger and better. We're just doing more. Um, so yes, right. I've done my little wonder. I've done quite a lot of stuff, as we were saying, work offline, <laughs> off camera. I did a bit of weeding because the plot's quite busy <laughs> and there were loads of people around and they didn't want to get my camera out straight away. But I'm just going to have to face the music now because it doesn't look like they're going home. <laughs> Right, the sun's gone in a bit now. Maybe we can go back to the greenhouse for what I actually came here to do. Also, I've lost I've lost a little bit to the tripod, so you're currently on the harvest basket and a plant pot. So if you fall down, I'm sorry. That's the situation. <laughs> what I came here to do today is because the lovely people at Grow Seed, linked in description, have sent me, try not to show my address, but sent me absolutely oodles and oodles and oodles of seeds. Um, we've been having a little chin wag on the emails and um, they asked me if I'd like some seeds. I said yes. They asked me what kind. I said anything. So <laughs> they've really fulfilled that brief. So one of the things I want to do today is, you know, my yin yang beans that got slugged. Yeah, they're no more. I was sort of leaving them in in the hopes they'd come back. They're not coming back. They're never coming back. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to replant some beans and there are some beans in here. Um, so I went through them and also there's loads of stuff like uh, that you can plant in June like lettuce loads of quick growing stuff I'm going to try and get a head start on my winter planting because I really want to be thinking ahead and getting stuff ready for over autumn and winter because you need to sow those now to be ready to put in autumn and blah, blah, blah. and also I'm going to succession sow some things hopefully this is the first year I'm taking it seriously so we'll try our best but that's the plan so first of all I'm going to replant a few yin yang beans because I do really want them um, and bilotti beans so I'm going to do a set of them and then we're going to look in here and see what other beans we've got and I'll talk you through that as soon as I find some beans in it. <laughs> So the beans I've managed to find out are, I've got two French beans, Stanley and Tender Green. Don't know what any of these are like because they were sent to me, so I've not picked him. And I'm not going to Google him because I quite like the surprise. So I'm going to grow them in here. And then also I've got some Firestorm runner beans, which I'm going to direct. So partly because I've run out of um, deep uh, cell trays and secondly because can't be asked. <laughs> so I'll plant these and uh, hopefully we'll get some beans eventually if the slots give me a chance. Oh Jesus Christ, I'm hot. I'm hot. It's too hot to be in the greenhouse today. Far too hot to be in the greenhouse today. Now my pen the green. Oh, these are fun. Oh, can you see? Can you, if I hide my face, can you see what they look like? They're fun. Tender green. Hmm. It's quite fun when uh, you get things sent to you because then I've got no idea what it will be. Right, so that's all my dwarf slash French beans in. I'll give those a water shortly. And then 
I'm just going to direct sow these in the ground next to where my other runner beans are and see what we do there. Come with me. I've never direct sowed beans before, so I don't know. I have no idea. No idea if you can see anything because it's too sunny. <laughs> so these are my Scarlet Emperor uh, runner beans that are in at the moment, which mm, they're not doing horribly. Not doing great either, but they're not doing horribly. So I'm going to just sew, try and sew a row of uh, Firestorm beans and see how we get on there and hope the mice don't dig them up. Oh, they look fun. Look how fun they look. Oh, great. Fantastic. Right. I'll just show them in. How many have I done there? Four. Yes. That'll do. <laughs> I've not done a lot of uh, beans because I don't know if I like them or not. <laughs> I've tried not to grow that many. Right. There in. Good luck. Please don't get dug up by a mouse. Now I'm just wondering if anyone remembers when I said I was never going to plant radishes again. Only last week. Um, well, <laughs> I'm changing my mind, okay? I'm allowed to change my mind. Um, and also Rhonda's here and she's looking sad with no radishes to look after. So, um, <laughs> oh, oh, Rhonda, go back, thank you. Um, so yeah, I'm going to plant radish again. However, I'm planting different varieties. The ones I tried to plant last time I think were called French breakfast. And I don't think I like those. <laughs> I grew them at home as well and I don't, don't like them. So I'm going to try some else. I've got cherry bell and long white icicle. And I'm going to see if I like those any better. And also, because this ground is so horrible and dry and I don't think I could plant into it, I'm just going to chuck some compost. As like a top layer and plant into that rather than into the ground because the ground is dry and I don't think seeds would take in it so okay this is not this is not the texture that I want to grow in really maybe I should water it should I water it and then like hoe it oh I don't I don't know I'm got... This is still a horrible texture, <laughs> but I don't know what else I can do about that, to be honest. Right, we'll do two rows of each of the radish that I insist on growing, even though I don't like radishes. <laughs> I'll water those in in a mile. Right, that's that done. What else did I want to do? <laughs> oh yeah, succession so let's let's carry on with that. Right, so I'm going to sorry the camera is so wonky because I'm improvising the tripod. Let's go with it. So as I said, this second lot of carrots came up fine. Loads of seedlings, but they've not they've not really they've not really come out in numbers, I would say. So I'm going to leave the ones that are there, but then I'm going to sew into the gaps. And these are, again from Grow Seed, Amsterdam forcing carrots, which is different to what I've got in, <laughs> but this is what we've got. Actually, should I try and do a row in the middle and then I won't disturb any that are already there? Maybe I'll do that instead. Okay, let's do that. I don't want to upset any carrots that have made it. Okay, and 
then when I water them in, I'll put fleece on top, not for heat, um, but to keep the moisture in to stop it evaporating so quickly because obviously it's quite warm. Um, and carrot seeds need to be constantly wet in order to germinate. The things you learn. So I'm going to uh, cover them up with some fleece after I've watered them, and that should hopefully keep the moisture in. Right, I think we've got to go back in the greenhouse now. I don't want to. Um, but I think I must. <laughs> Again, I do apologise. I can't live with it that one, okay? Even I can't live with that anger. Is that better? <laughs> <laughs> right next <laughs> I'm going to succession sow some lettuces etc um, so I've succession sown the carrots I've done my radishes and I'm going to have a look in here and see what good stuff we've got in here to sow there's loads of lettuces in here I know that these are the lettuces I'm going to go with little gem, winter density, great lakes and green salad bowl and I was going to do them in these little trays, but I actually think, and I'll tell you why in a minute, I'm actually going to use these slightly bigger container-wise um, trays, just because they'll hold moisture a bit better. And with it being super warm recently, I just think that will be a better idea. So I'll just do one thing of each. Um, I think every other lettuce I've planted, I've like planted it in a tray and then pricked out, but I'm just going to direct do these in modules and see what what comes of that instead. So that's all that lettuce sewn just as I normally do um, and I'm gonna I think I'm actually gonna put a a propagator lid over the top once I've watered it. Not for heat, again, not for heat, but for moisture because things are going to dry out in here because it's hot. So, yeah, I'll water this before I put the lid back on and then uh, I'll think of something else to do. I've got these um, cucumbers now. I've got these <laughs> little baby watermelons that someone on the plot gave me. And they're doing really badly in these little pots because I can't, I don't come and water every day. I come and water every couple of days, but I can't come every day. So they're drying out too quickly. Melons need a lot of water. Courgettes, squash, whatever, need a lot of water. Can you even see me? No. <laughs> so I'm going to find some bigger pots for these and pot them up the same as I have with my uh, Emia melons. So they can grow up... Um, just in bigger pots and then they don't need as much watering. If they're in smaller pots, they dry out quicker. So that's my next port of call. I'm just gonna find some bigger pots and repot these then. So I can only find these sizes of pots, which I'd like slightly bigger pots, but I don't have any with me. And I think this is a emergency situation. So I'm just gonna repot into anything bigger because I think anything bigger will help. I'll give these a good water and I'll find a spot for them. <laughs> I don't know where that spot will be, but I will find a spot. <laughs> and I'll put them there. I'm going to do something entirely unnecessary. But, well, it's not unnecessary. It's necessary to me and my happiness. Um, I'm going to put some bunting up. I went to the pound shop the other day, got some bunting. And this is it's for kids debatable um but i'm going to put it up across the arches and bring some happy colorfulness to the plot i think i'm the only plot with bunting
just watered everything um, that needs watering and I'm going to go home in a minute because I've been here a really really long time, I've been here like three hours. So I'm going to pick my Monge 2, I'll try and not miss any. <gasps> These are so big, can you eat Monge 2 straight away? Can I just eat this? I think so. Can I? I think you can cook it in stir fry can't you? Oh my god, that's so tasty. <laughs> Oh my god, I did not expect that to taste so nice. Sorry if you don't like chewing, but oh my god, that's so tasty. That's so tasty. Oh, I could have it on a salad. Right, picking my monge too. Oh my god, I've never been so excited in my entire life. <gasps> Quite a lot on here as well. Have I missed any? Yeah, that one. Oh. That's so exciting. Is that all the ones I can see? I don't want them to get too big. That one's not ready. Yeah, that looks about right. So I'll come back to those when they've given me some more. Oh, that's so <gasps> that's so tasty. I've never eaten like peas straight out of the garden, but everyone always says everyone always says they taste so good. And now I agree. I agree they do taste so good, so Mmm. 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 -mm. Delish. Right. Um, what else can I take home? Lettuce as always. And the strawberries. But I'm gonna I'm gonna pick the strawberries that are ready. These um wild alpine strawberries, by the way, are delicious. We have them on cake, chocolate cake. And they were so nice, chocolate cake and ice cream. And they I think they're called either wild strawberries or alpine strawberries whatever you want to call them we didn't buy them so i can't tell you for sure but they're really really delicious and the birds don't seem to be eating them so i'm just going to go with it um so i'm going to pick all the strawberries that i can see that are ready and then i'll come back to you because i'm going to do something with this strawberry bed What I'm planning on doing with the strawberries is I've got this rabbit bedding, small pet bedding, whatever. Um, ironically, this isn't actually from our rabbit. It was from, <laughs> I think I said a while ago, my mum has a childcare day nursery and they used to have a guinea pig. Used to be in the keyword there. <laughs> so she asked if I could use this either at home or the allotment and I said, we don't use it for the rabbits, but I will use it at the allotment. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mulch this strawberry bed. Number one, to stop the strawberries laying on the mud and rotting um, and two to keep a bit of moisture in. I think a lot of people use straw but I've heard straw encourages slugs so I don't want to encourage the slugs so I'm just gonna chuck this down. I'm aware there's loads of weeds and loads of strawberry runners but I'm just gonna pray that they make their way through um, and up to the surface but yeah I'm just gonna plonk this down as far as it'll go. I don't know how far across the bed it'll go, it's quite a big bed. Um, and use it as a bit of a mulch to keep the water in. That is that bit done. Um, you can tell me I'm wrong in the comments, but I've done it now, so slightly too late. But hopefully it'll just stop the strawberries resting on the um, wet mud um, and help them, you know, not rot, basically. Because I can't, you know, if these were in my back garden, I wouldn't do this, but they're not. So, um, <laughs> so hopefully that will be okay. The rest of the plot is looking so cute. Look at those monsters. Um, yes, I think that was my last job. Oh, wait, it was not. Oh, oh, dark. It was not my last job. Come on. <laughs> what should we name her? You can put that in the comments. What should we name the sweet corn mascot? You decide. If I had a Patreon, I'd put a photo on there, but I don't. So, what would you? What are you going to name the sweet corn mascot? Because it's sweet corn mascot time. Where should we put her? Put her just there. Look. 
I think it's a woman. It could be genderless. You decide. Name the sweet corn in the comments. <laughs> Otherwise, that was the last job of the day. <laughs> I forgot to do that when I put the sweet corn out last week. Um, yeah, that's the last job of the day. So, as always, I'm going to tidy up. I always forget to tidy up. I'm going to tidy up. Oh, I'm warm. And go home for my tea. I hope Sam's cupped, cupped my tea, but I bet he hasn't. I bet he's waited for me to come home. Anyway, that's another day at the plot done. Mostly today, honestly, has been watering, which I didn't show you that much of because <laughs> boring. But other than that, just replanting, trying to get on top of things, ready, you know, trying to be ready for next, the next round of stuff, I think, is the key here. Um, but yeah, it's my allotment. <laughs> Try and get a nice thumbnail. Yeah, that's my allotment. <laughs> um, I'm going to tidy up and go home. I'm shattered. The sun, it gets to you, doesn't it? So I'll stop talking. Name the sweet corn in the comments and subscribe. If you've watched all of this and you've not subscribed, subscribe. Help a girl out. We want to reach 2,000 by the end of the year. So if you fancy subscribing and helping us out, please do so. And if you know any people who watch Garden on YouTube, send us over to them <laughs> and get them to subscribe as well. Um, but otherwise, I will see you either in the weekly vlog or either, either in the weekly weekend vlog or in the next alternate vlog, whichever ones you watch. And I'll see you then. Bye! Ooh, what could this be? Is that a vacant plot behind my plot? Hmm, interesting.